Hey you guys, it's Diane with 303 High Priestess. This is a reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, November 2018. I, <laughs> I was going to say something else. Lord, I swear I'm stuck in October. I don't know what month I'm stuck in. We're in November. November 2018, Taurus. Of course, I've shuffled your cards already, dear. I am just shuffling them again. This is who's coming towards you or what's coming towards you. Taurus. Number 2018. Make sure I sit that down right. I am not going to do that. Sorry, Taurus. I gotta do that over. And there's stuck something stuck on my card. What the hell? It's all types of shit happening tonight. Y'all, what is going on? <laughs> One more time, Taurus. Taurus, you have the Four of Swords in reverse. You have the Nine of Coins. It's always so pretty to me. And you have the Seven of Cups. I never see the Seven of Cups in a negative way, Taurus. I just see it that you have options. <laughs> I always see that you have options. Look at the guy. That's what he's basically saying. He's like, okay, I got seven cups. Every cup has something in it, okay? You need to make a choice. Without making a choice, that is you making a choice. So if you decide to not pick one of these cups, one of these things, one of these paths, one of these options... I mean, not making a decision is making a decision. And it's, it could possibly mean that you're missing out on an opportunity, okay? I feel like you guys know that you have a lot of options and a lot of choices. And you sometimes daydream about the options and the choices that you have. Like you play out scenarios in your head of how things would be if you were in this situation or with this person. I don't know where that came up from. I'm telling you though, somebody has got their eye on you and they are really admiring you, okay? They see that you have potential, Taurus. <laughs> I just see the bull, you guys. You guys just stunning out there. But <laughs> that's what I'm feeling here. Like you're, sh you're really trying to enjoy the fruits of your labor. That's why this woman is standing here with this damn bird in her hand. Okay? And all of her coins around her this is her just feeling confident in herself this could be some of my single Tauruses out there okay this is how you guys feel about you you know that you have options Hmm. 
Why are you guys still single? I'm coming up with singles right now. That's what I'm feeling just from these cards here, okay? We're going to see who's coming up towards you, but I'm just, we're going to address something right now. I feel like you guys are liking being single. Like you don't want to be tied down. That's why you can't make a choice. Some of you guys are actually holding on to the past as well. And someone that you were dealing with was possibly very harsh and, a, and mm, their words were harsh. And they lack empathy. And I feel like because of this situation that happened, you guys are having a difficult time letting the past go. And choosing clearly what you want, okay? This is also about you guys not having clear vision or clear thinking. That's why you're daydreaming. You're in your head up in the clouds, okay? You have to let whatever you're thinking go and make a choice, okay? But I know you guys are searching for purpose in everything that you choose. You want to see how it will continuously help you grow into the person that you are trying to become or you already are. Taurus okay I feel like you guys are becoming rest rest oh restless okay because this is taking a break all right this is putting your sores down you're taking a rest no you're feeling restless um maybe in making a choice okay you know you look good. That's why you're in the center of attention right now, Taurus. You know you got it going on. And you're enjoying your life right now, but you're tired. And I feel like you want to make an option. You want to make a choice on something or someone. These readings interesting. <laughs> Uh, let's go with these. Let's see what this person, who's coming towards Taurus, November 2018. Is there anyone coming towards Taurus? Last time. Thank you. Like I said, like I said, there's someone coming towards you. I feel like it's a water sign, you guys, that may be coming up here for you, Taurus. You have the six of earth. You have the three of air. And you have the page of water. That's your water sign coming in with a message of love, okay? Or a message of interest in you. Okay, this could this could be a new relationship. All right. This person is going to give you a new perspective on this difficult situation right here. This three of air, this thing that may have hurt you or broke your heart, stressed you out, burnt you out. That's what I was talking about in the beginning. This three of air. Okay. That this person may have been abusive or harsh towards you and their words were harsh towards you, okay? That's why you're afraid to make a choice right now. But someone, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, is going to come in, Taurus, and give you a new perspective on this situation, 
They're going to help you see it differently, okay? Once you start opening yourself up, I feel like you're going to have blessings as well. Um, with this six of earth, this you're going to have new opportunities come in. You know why? Because your mind is going to be clearer. Okay. I feel like, I felt like you guys were fucking in La La Land somewhere. Okay. Um, I don't know why I felt that in the beginning, but that's what's here right now. Okay. Once you clear that energy out and this person helps you because a water sign, they're very fluid. Okay. They can swing whatever way they need to swing. They're very mutable signs. So they're going to help you twist and bend and turn in any way that you need to, to release this negative energy, to release these negative thoughts, Taurus. And I feel like whatever this relationship was, was a great sadness to you. They're going to help you heal this situation and forgive yourself and learn to forgive others as well. This is going to open up some new career opportunities for you. You're going to be able to gain some type of control over your finances. Some of you guys are going to be paying off your loans or paying off some debt as well with the six of earth that's here. So you may want to keep an eye out for any water signs that seem like they have this potential or they have an interest in, in you and helping you grow. Okay. Grow your emotions, grow your feelings, or open up your emotions and heal your feelings. Um, you may develop an emotional connection with yourself and with this person. Become one with yourself. That's what I mean, emotional connection with yourself, okay? That's connecting with your higher self, okay? With your inner world. I'm going deep with y'all tonight, okay? Okay. That's what I'm getting here. So, what is this potential water sign looking like? I feel like this can go for singles and, and couples. I don't know. It could go for couples. Yeah. Can I get cards for Taurus? Sign. November 2018. Okay. <laughs> this is your obstacles, Taurus. Okay. That was all over the place. <laughs> wow. Taurus summarizing against. That would be an obstacle now, wouldn't it? You guys have, let me fix that. You guys have separation. You have passion. And you have soulmate. This is an obstacles position, baby, okay? So you are, some of y'all trying to separate from someone and call in a soulmate. Ain't that something? Okay, this water sign may be a potential for you. And I'm not sure exactly what is going on in your current situation. If you're in one, I can't tell you guys whether or not to leave. That's something you have to make a decision on yourself. Make that decision. That's what that is. Okay, but some of you guys are feeling in your heart that this person that you're with or you're thinking about or you're stuck on, you know that they are not the one. They're not the one, okay? Um, but you're going to have an obstacle calling in a new person or showing any passion because your obstacle is separation. <sighs> Either you're separated and you're having an obstacle of letting this person go or getting over some type of sadness. Oh. Okay, I'm getting for some of, okay, I, this may not apply to everyone. Okay, this card is not even on here. I'm not even going to say that. But if it comes out, I'll say it, okay? What is the likely outcome for Taurus? Sure, that was 
Turn it around. What I'm talking about. The rain. I want some good news, okay? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Likely outcome tours. You have the Ace of Pentacles. You have the Magician in reverse. And you have the Four of Cups upright position man y'all better wake up wake up <laughs> both of these cards don't slip up on this okay i feel like you already know that you some of you guys are satisfied even though you are dealing with great sadness you are well off enough to take care of yourself okay and you're trying to you're trying to get over some situation and heal yourself, okay? So that you can bring in love or separate from something that's unhealthy for you. Um, but you're just being told, Taurus, that... Hmm. Some of you guys are stubborn. Like, you cannot be moved, and you're going to move when you're good and ready to move. That's basically what that's saying to me. This four cups, okay? Or you're in deep contemplation. And you're feeling stuck. There go that La La Land stuff again. Because it's there. And I'm feeling that is there, okay? <laughs> there's blessings here Taurus I see them I see that you have more financial aid coming in financial aid any way you want to take it like money coming in towards you okay you have new opportunities that are coming up towards you this is going to help you financially. But when it comes to love, there is matters of the heart that you need to heal and move past. Make a decision, a conscious decision to move past whatever situation this is that is holding you back. When it comes to matters of the heart, okay? Because I feel like some of you guys are just accepting what's there, even though you know it's not right. And you're becoming more and more out of touch. That's what this magician card is in reverse. It's like being out of touch, not being able to use your skills in the love area. And you're like, oh, it's okay. It'll just go away. That's what I'm feeling here. Okay, because you're single and you're probably loving it right now, but you're also feeling like you may want to settle down. You may have people around you that are getting married on you. Your friends getting married, okay? Your siblings getting married or hooking up with people, or getting girlfriends, boyfriends, and you're looking like, damn, where is my soulmate at? But it's an obstacle for you right now because you have to mend a broken heart, Okay. But there's still good luck out there for you, okay? There is still abundance. There is still stability out there for you. This is the likely outcome that you will achieve it, okay? This, wa this water sign may be able to help you with that. That's why I was saying that, okay? 
<sighs> the quickest way to get over someone is to, I don't know, talk to someone else. I, I, that's what I hear anyway. I'm not saying that's true. I'm not telling y'all to do that. <laughs> Heal yourself first, okay? There's a need to forgive yourself and others so you can properly move on from a situation, okay? I didn't think it was a bad reading. It was a little tricky, though. <laughs> that is your reading, Taurus, for uh, November 2018. Thank you so, so much for coming back to watch your reading. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, and share, you guys. Hit the notification bell so you could be notified. Oh, I got the damn cards, y'all. I got the cards. It's been like a month and a half. I have to bond with them first before I bring them out, but I got them. So that's a plus, right? Okay. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the notification bell and subscribe. Share this video on your social media outlets, whatever, Instagram, Facebook. Y'all just put it out there. I love you guys. You're so supportive and I appreciate that. I'm grateful and thankful always. Peace. Take care. Bye.